Hi, this is Tom Allard and I'm Paul Greedy. Um, and our work is entitled Home Clavelux 2013. At the beginning of the 20th century, one of the big concerns was the relationship between um, music and visual arts. And so uh, there was a dialogue going on between painters and uh, musicians about what the new artwork was going to be like. And from that came a whole bunch of painting and music, but it also some mechanical machines which created light music. And a number of inventors, they thought of themselves as being inventors more than anything else, came up with solutions for creating light music. The particular fellow that made the original of that series of machines was Thomas Wilfred. He was an American. He was a theosophist. He believed that colours had certain religious meanings. Uh, and he wanted to take that and turn it into a form of entertainment, which he would perform live. And then later on, he made um, home claveluxes, like basically like televisions, for people to watch at home and create their colour. What that machine is, is a, a home clavelux. It's a light synthesizer. So, I guess, I mean, with the title uh, Home Club Lux 2013, it's kind of a proposition as the, the latest model of... So, in, in a sense, we're kind of picking up where Wilfred left off in the, in the 1930s and, and proposing that, well, with, with digital technologies, how can we pick up on the work that um, Wilfred initiated and then carried on? So, uh, where, where Wilfred's uh, devices were essentially uh, electronic mechanical sort of machines we've introduced a, uh, a touchscreen interface in which a user can sort of inject um, colour um, and colour not well energize, you can energize basically the touchscreen isn't like a, a screen that you just touch you actually have to energize it. You have to basically build up these colors. And the colors have a kind of emotional content mm. according to Wilfred's own religious ideas. So yes. you can build up some anger and then you can paint the anger up onto the screen. And it goes into the, the, the physical system of the machine and is thrown up as a, as a thought form, as a, um, a kind of manifestation of your emotion. And it goes through a combination of the digital origin, but then the analog uh, processing of the result. What's my past work sort of deals with um, the visual manifestation of sounds. And when when Tom sort of approached me with the idea of of uh, working with the Clavelux um, and its 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 links to the history of visual music, it seemed quite apt given that sort of history of, of my practice and though the, the relationship between the way I work with sound and light is quite relevant to that history, I haven't, I haven't really engaged with it much in terms of my practice and um, it's kind of in, introduced me to some of those ideas, um, the, 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 the opportunity to sort of work with Wilfred's ideas and... Um, to a certain extent we are not judging which part of Wilfred's work is important and which isn't. We don't know. It's like saying, I think he was right or wrong before you've even done the actual process. So in building the machine and, and creating it pretty much the way he'd done it, apart from the, the origin of it, we're now able to sort of look at what was going on and, and, and make some kind of like, you know, continuation of whatever he was researching. Um, now, what you see on screen is actually hard to describe. I mean, I could describe it in terms of it, it being a kind of filament. It looks like a kind of fiery, um, a fiery burst of light. Um, it's random in that you won't quite know that the parts of the machine never quite um, orbit the same way. Yep. But there is a understanding that in the image is the intention, the emotion that the operator puts into it. If I pick up a lot of red and I build this anger, angry red and I fill the screen with this red anger, then that will come up on the screen. It'll, it'll, it'll come up. But if I dab little bits of sort of spiritual feeling, which are the 
terms that are used on the machine, then I create a different kind of result. Um, it's an interpretation of how you feel. And, and very interestingly, one of the first people who talked to me about the machine was a man who worked at a alcohol rehab. And he said, I'd like to get, I'd like to borrow this, take it around, show it to the guys, and they can kind of get all these feelings out on this thing. And I, yeah, okay, fine. Um, we have unleashed it, but we don't quite know where it's going to go.